Hi everybody, it's Anthony from Triple X RC Garage. Back to you with how to scale accessorize your TRX4. Now, I know you guys have sent comments and different things to me about like what it is, what we can do, and all that stuff. You know, like asking me questions and. So I'm going to show you some things that you can do to make your own scale accessories. First of all, I did make this. I did get this. Um, I did this on a trade, I believe, but I believe you can get this on eBay. It's a sand ladder. But like these boxes up here, these are actually screw boxes. Uh, RC screws, different kind of screw boxes that you get when you buy screws. And so what I did is uh, I opened them up. And paint it on the inside the color I wanted so that way they don't get scratched up on the outside if you tumble over um, the netting this netting is actually from Hobby Lobby and what it is it is you know how people will decorate their walls with seashells well that's what this is for this is that wall decoration stuff and you get quite a bit of it when you purchase it and so far I've done a few other RCs with it and I'm probably gonna do my buddies Anthony from Triple X rated from Anthony from Triple X rated garage. Sorry, I get our names all confused. This is elastic bands and then these are S hooks that I found on the keychain thing at Lowe's. Here's another one that come in different colors. This is thread and it looks like rope. Um now, a lot of people have been asking me about the limb risers. All right, the limb risers are basically, this is a 116 cable. And what I did is I wrapped it around my roll cage and crimped it with the ferrule, ferro, I always say it wrong, ferrule crimps. Tightened it up, did the same thing here, but I put a spring on it. So this way here, if a tree branch hits, as you can see, it's just gonna flex it and come right back. And it's not gonna put any stress on the body and tear the body up. And then I used an angle bracket and I did drill a hole through and screwed it in there. So this way it doesn't, um, and the reason I use the wide angle is so I'd have more landscaping here to keep from tearing my body up. And uh, that's pretty much it. And also I did add a Proline uh, bar light. And it actually comes with a, a, a tubing grab type bracket, as you can see here. And that's what I used for that. Um, this bumper on the front is actually a JK bumper made by RC Four Wheel Drive for a SCX10. Now it does bolt up on the side rails, just like SCX10 would if you were putting it on there. And this is a RC four-wheel drive winch. It's not the big fancy large one they just came out with. I wanted one that looked a little more scale. So that's why I went with this one here. Um, and that's pretty much it. Anyway, that's it. And hope I was very informative for you guys. Have a good day.